Let's imagine a group of 100 people, with each of them having an IQ of 140 plus. And they are flying on a plane above the Pacific Ocean. When suddenly they find out that they are running out of fuel, there is a hole in the fuel tank. Desperately, they look for a place where they could land. They see here an island and they manage to land on this. Nobody gets hurt. They go out the plane and start walking. They mainly look for things to maintain themselves. Water, food, a shelter. Being new to this environment, they are unsuccessful at finding these. Suddenly, they meet the Aborigines with feathers on their heads and bones in their nose. The group look at the Aborigines and the Aborigines look at the group and they decide to give them a test. The group of high IQ people rank themselves from IQ and they choose and elect their leader that way. One of the Aborigines step forward and asks that person, an animal just passed by. Have you seen the animal which just passed by? The person look around, confused. An animal just passed by? What do you mean? One of the elder Aborigines responds, if you look, in between us there is a line. It's a pass, a track that an animal just passed by. One of the young Aborigines asks that person which direction the animal went. Did it go right or did it go left? Did it go this way or that way? The person responds and, mm, well, I don't know. One of the Aborigines responds to him, if you take a closer look at the grass, the way it has been pushed and laid down, you can find out which direction the animal went. If the grass has been laying down on the right side, then it went that way. If not, then it went the other way. One of the Aborigines asks then, how big was the animal? Was it worth hunting? Could it feed a, a family? What type of animal was it? One of the youngest Aborigines says, by looking in the past, probably the animal who just passed by left marks on the ground with his cloth that you can see. And by looking at the thickness of these, we can see and find out how big was the animal and what type of animal it was. The person found himself so embarrassed not being able to answer any of the questions the Aborigines asked him. And the group of high IQ people is laughing at their leader. One of the elder Aborigines says to the group that they shall not laugh as they could have simply done the same mistake. Education is a necessity of life and is key. Intelligence cannot be measured by only an IQ test as it represents a very narrow and limited way of decoding reality which is constantly changing. So intelligence could be defined as the ability somebody has to adapt to a constantly changing environment and educate one another on how to do so is a true act of love. It is hard pressed to disagree with the fact that education today, the 21st century, is pretty much more accessible now than it has ever been throughout the history of mankind. This is due to our communication. So the ability to learn is only limited by your access to those technologies which enabled you to learn. It is simply amazing what kids would teach themselves if they were given the freedom to do so. The kids could collaborate, explain to the other kids who do not get it in an open source Linux environment kind of way. By education, I mean proper education, not the education there is today with the current market monetary system based on individuality, competitivity and inequality, based on business and differential advantage and competitive advantage, bringing and breeding jealousy among us. Instead of grading people, we shall try to upgrade the entire society and share all knowledge we know. The more people are educated on how to bridge the differences between people by focusing on the similarities like food, water, shelter, the more peaceful and safe the society will be. Education shall be the joy of learning instead of the fear of failure. Competition and competing for higher rank is dangerous and socially offensive. Considered right and normal because we've been brought up to this value system. But imagine, what kind of competition is there in your body? Suppose your brain is saying, I'm the most important organ. And your liver says, no, I am. 
and I want to go on the free enterprise system. Will you not rot away in a week if every organ in your body went out on itself?